Hi guys, I hope you're having a good week. The weather outside is beautiful, go out and play. I have missed you so much. I hope you are noticing the things around you start to bloom. Happy Easter. Yes, it's still the Easter season. You thought eventually I'd quit saying it, didn't you? But not yet. This week, Paul is sharing a story about a person named Tabitha. And sometimes she's called Dorcas. It's interesting because in the Jewish it's Tabitha and in the Greek it's Dorcas. And when we read the book of Acts in Paul, he gives us her name in both languages. Her name matters. Do you know what her name means? It means gazelle. You know what a gazelle is. It's those beautiful deer that are graceful and they leap. Well, Dorcas is graceful and, and she leaps into people's hearts if you read this short story in Acts. She had heard about Jesus, and she knew that what Jesus wanted her to do was to love others as she loved herself. And she looked around at what she was good at and what she knew how to do. And what Tabitha knew how to do was to sew. She would sew for people who had money, and she would sew for people who did not. But that was her skill. She was a seamstress. So she used it to try to show God's love. And then one day she gets really sick and has to stay in bed. And her friends realized she wasn't okay. And the Bible tells us Tabitha died. But her friends didn't give up hope. They went and found someone. They went and found Peter. And if you remember, Peter is one of the disciples. And we think about the disciples as being those 12 men who did things with Jesus. But you know what's funny about Tabitha? In Acts, it says Tabitha was a disciple. She's the only woman that they ever say that about. And in Acts, it tells us Peter came to her bedside and he said, Tabitha, get up. And she does. And when she gets up and walks out of the room, she goes back to doing what she's been doing, to sharing her love with others through what she was good at. It was her way of offering herself and her skills to God. I wonder what you could offer to God. I want you to think about that and talk about that story with your grown-ups. I wonder what we could leave out of that story and still have everything we need. Will you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, remind us to look around and see how we can help other people. Thank you for a story about people like Tabitha, who remind us of how very big your love is for us and how very important we are to you. Amen.